eat, drink, and be merry with, I am the person I am today. And uh, if anything is crazier than ever. <laughs> because as we all know, it's just a ball of confusion. <laughs> Who knew? Who knew? If you knew me, you know I didn't like government one hour. Because not only could we not vote, we weren't even respected. And I met a man named George Hart, who was a, a big deal in his Lutheran church of uh, St. Stephen's of Incarnation on Newton Street. Let me tell you about this guy, George Hart. He was a wonderful civic community activist. And when he died, it was a hole in my heart. Because this is the first guy I ever heard say the word reparations. We are due them. All right. And I said to myself, now that's a lot of nerve at his age. And he's not worried about getting beaten in the head. So why should I worry about what kind of pictures I take that depict America the way I see it? And yes, I still spell America with three K's. Because the Tea Party's not making me feel any more comfortable about what's not happened for us as a group of people who really are about human beings. I got Spanish friends. I got white folk I love. And the idea that people keep putting a line between all of us is just plainly wrong. I love musicians. And these three people leading the march for George's uh, funeral on the way to the church are all wonderful street musicians. They have all since passed away. Now, let me tell you, music makes New Orleans strong, no matter what the adversarial stuff going on. If we had more music in D.C., we'd be a lot stronger. This is one of my favorite wow. shots. I call it Freedom Fighter. It's the 20th anniversary of Medgar Evers' uh, death. Uh, this guy died for us. So every time somebody can't take time to vote, you're not registered to vote, I'm not playing cards with you. This is very serious life we got going on here. We've got to pay attention that all of us are human beings, and we got to spend more time with each other. This is why I love cooking, eating, drinking, and having a good time. Because we can think about the stuff we need to talk about, we make friends, we begin to understand that what we have to do is not watch television. Because if we keep watching TV, the beat's gonna go on. <coughs> this is my hero, wow. Great Panther herself, one of the founders of the Great Panthers. Also my Delta sorority sister. This is Sybil Moses. She resided in the Roosevelt home for senior citizens. You better believe since they turned that building into a yummy land over there that she and some others are rolling over in their graves. We're all getting older. We're all going to be old, old, old. If we don't watch out for them, who on earth you think is going to watch out for us? Let's pay attention that seniors need a lot of help. I love them. These are the musicians, David Yarborough and Esther Williams. Jazz, jazz, jazz. Because of them, guess whose chops is better? Mine. I'm having a great time playing piano and bass guitar, okay, because there is nothing on television. If you use your mind to get older, you're still going to be able to think, even if you hit one note at a time. Things happen. Thelonious Monk didn't get good by being wild. Marion Anderson didn't get good by being wild. If you practice your craft, if you take the time to do your photography, if you take time to learn an instrument, you're not going to get Alzheimer's. All right. All right. This is my self-portrait. I live a life a little different. Beauty <laughs> 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 taking crazy. chances is the company you keep. Because I've had the pleasure of so many of you all, in good times and bad, I'm a result of you. My work is a result of you. I look forward to more bread breaking, more wine drinking, more talking about what needs to get done about government and social societies that aren't pulling its weight. When they talk about what to cut for the taxes, they better not cut education. They better not cut health care. But you know what our dear president keeps saying? Whatever you all want me to do, make me. Make me. What does that mean? You can't stay home and watch television. You can't put your head in a book and think you've learned something. If you're not out among all of us trying to make a better day, we all lose. We all lose. This weekend, this last 
who? Seven days. My partner, Joyce Wellman, has been in Texas. Texas. Joyce had to have her first white boy experience. Mm. You know, we stand at the gates trying to make sure that people who make money doing creativity, that it keeps on being them and not us. Mm. Let me tell you, because I became a photographer, I have seen the world. And those of you who know me know I try to stay home all the time. So let me just say that it behooves all of us to keep learning. Joyce is down there taking video. Do you know one of my buddies loaned her a video camera? Instead of letting it sit there, she started working with it. Whatever you have in your house, work with it. All right. All right.